So the title of this chapter of Bleach was called The Return of God, and there was like two symbolizing stuff about that. It could either talk about like the Soul King, you know, him returning, or, or you know, Aizen. This chapter, Yutake, he basically was just like laying there with his mouth open, saving the Soul King, and and, and this like this weird spitting black, you know, well, black uh, thing came out of his mouth, and he's and it's basically like. Well, I don't know what the color is because of the ink, but it's black. But uh, it basically just came out of no, like came out of his mouth and, and basically just saved the Soul King. So basically, the world of the living and the Soul Palace are basically saved right now, thanks to Yumitake. And Juha is like saying, "What is the meaning of this? What has you done? Like, where? What's the meaning of Soul King?" And 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 basically, is this? Is basically Yumitake just? This saving everyone and trolling Juha, and now I think some fights are coming up right now. I believe like next chapter, since we have the Soul King, like basically being saved and Yumitake basically taking his place, and the whole world is no longer shaking. Now Juha has to figure out a way how to defeat the new Soul King and try to kill him off, and then try to bring it back into motion but that's not going to happen because Ichigo and the others are going to try to stop him and then some upcoming fights are coming in like these. Basically you have the elite forces that are still roaming around and hopefully Kubo doesn't leave them out and then you got Uryu and Sterner B they're still out there so hopefully they'll come to come to Juha side too and then we'll have some epic uh, fights coming in hopefully Ichigo versus Uryu that would be epic and uh so, after all that, now we get on to the main part of this chapter. Is Sun Shui? He he's unlocking Aizen's mouth, like mouth, like you know. They basically sealed his mouth and stuff, like before he got captive, and you know, you know, because you know he's always talking and whatnot, and you know, saying sarcastically and trolling everyone, and they all sealed him up for good, like so he won't get out. So basically, Sun Shui's exception was just to remove his mouth his mouthpiece so he can talk and he says like oh, okay I guess you can talk now and then Aizen said like I suppose so and then Sun Shui is shocked right now because he is standing right there in the dark and he's like wait how did Aizen remove all the rest of his stuff I only remove his mouthpiece that is the biggest mystery and then Aizen said like What's wrong? It looks like you have to remove two more stuff, huh? And so that ends the chapter. So basically, the mystery is, well, how did Eisen remove everything else c containing him without Sun Shui removing it for him? I'll tell you one thing. He's the Troll King. What do you think? Ah, I'm just kidding. I, he's he's. I don't know how Eisen removed all that stuff, but uh, hopefully the next chapter will reveal how he removed that and how he got out of this cap captivity. And now, and now, um, maybe it might be an Eisen versus Sunshu incoming, or maybe Eisen might just like be reasonable and just talk to him, like saying like, "Oh, so what do you what do you want from me?" And like maybe Sunshu is saying like, "We need your help with this kind of stuff," and. I, I just can't wait to see what Aizen has next and hopefully he'll be trolling everything else in the rest of this arc because he's a troll king what you expect so now that Aizen's back when are we going to see Grimjow because I want to see Grimjow in action too hopefully he can be hopefully maybe he might show up before you know all the captains go up to the soap house and you know Grimjow might show up at nowhere saying Hey, I come here to help too, and then everyone's gonna be shocked that seeing that the enemy is joining them. So until then, I'll see you guys later. Peace out, guys.